Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is John Rambo. I'm in my new outbuilding today, and uh, anyway, I've been wanting to build a storage bed for some time now, and uh, I actually got the idea from this Outdoor Life. Uh, outdoor Life Prepare for Anything Survival Manual. I think these books are cool. You used to you get them at Lowe's Hardware. I don't know if they still got them anymore or not. But anyway, had a bed uh, idea for this bed to store stuff under. Uh, now I done it my way, not like this, but uh, you know I thought it was a cool idea. And uh, actually, so I did, uh, this is going to be a queen bed, and I decided to build it where I could put five gallon buckets under it. Slide it back and forth if I need to. Uh, so I'm gonna get a bunch of five gallon buckets with the gamma lids and start uh, storing food in mylar bags. It seems to be what all the preppers are doing. So, so I won't be like the rest of the preppers. But uh, anyway, um, now most of the expense in this, is, other than maybe the mattress, is I had to have about eight. These are two by tens, about eight foot long. So I had to have about eight of those. Now in order for a woman to agree to something like this, it's got to be aesthetically pleasing on the outside. So uh, so I still got to put a stain and uh, some varnish on this thing to make it look good. Now I really concentrated more on on this side and this side because that's the only two sides that will be seen when they get it in the house. But. Uh, now I'm going to bring you back here in a minute because this is a piece of blonde sanded uh, plywood. It really, looks really good so uh, it was kind of expensive but so that's going to go on top and over here there's going to be some hinges and when this will go on top and you just lift it up and you'll be able to get to your storage underneath. But uh, anyway, that's a idea of something you can do as a prepper. But uh, like I say, you know, for your wife to agree to it, it's got to look good, though. So, all right, this is John Rambo. I'll be back when I get her finished. All right, I'm back, YouTubers. I want to show you the final finished product, final product. I still need some finishing. This corner. Sticking up, but I guess after the mattress lays on the wall, it might lay down. Uh, if I, I, th I actually considered putting another hinge there, but I don't know if that's necessary. But uh, like I say, it ain't finished right now, but if I had to, it is usable right now. So, uh, so there's your five gallon bucket under the slat. So I could store a bunch of five gallon buckets or whatever supplies I need under this. And, and put your mattress back down. <laughs> and there, I even had enough wood left over to make me a planter there. These are two by tens. Um, now a bucket, I think a five gallon bucket was like 15 inches tall. So I had to with uh, with the slats and everything, I think it's got like uh, 16 to 16 and a half inch clearance for underneath the slats. But uh, so this right here is actually about um, was it 18 inches, I think. But anyway, uh, so there you have it. If a person wanted to, you could either uh, have you put your storage supplies in. If you wanted to make it hard to get into, you could uh, get you some angles and screw it to the flooring of your house. Either uh, you could put a lock, uh, fix it for locks, hasp locks, or or screw it down on the edges to make it harder for anybody to get into. But anyway. Uh, that's what I got to going on. This is John Rambo. No, man.